You know, it takes a truly arrogant person to do what Donald Trump did. We can use other words to highlight it. Racist, chauvinistic, uh, xenophobic, all the titles that are rightfully his. Idiot. All those things. We could say all those words, but it takes a certain arrogance to believe that what Donald Trump said at this latest rally in Alabama without thinking that there will be no consequences to what he said. This is now a call to arms for all the black athletes to stand together and to refuse to step on the field. Tomorrow is Sunday. It is traditionally in America football Sunday. It now to truly make a statement to truly affect what will push Republican and many in the parties who refuse to stand up to Donald Trump is, is and as always will be hurting the bottom line, that bottom dollar. You see, I've always said the war is not black, it's not white, it's green. If you affect the green, that color, that's when change happens. That's why we believe in the black dollar, investing in black businesses, black interests only. Because that is when change will come. But for Donald Trump to get on there and disrespect the women uh, who have given birth to these men who play in the National Football League or any other sports. See, this this crosses. This is why I say that Donald Trump, this is a call to arms now. Now this should be enough for NFL players, NBA players. To say until something happens to 45, we will not step on the court. We will not step on the field. We will not uh, swing the bats, catch the balls, or do anything for the entertainment of the big conglomerate businesses and slave owners who think that they can tell us we need to sit down or stand up for whenever they feel it's necessary. Now is the time for these black and brown athletes to step up and say, This is where our power lies. You may own the team. You may uh, make the big dollar. But if we don't step on the field, we don't step on that court. We don't do give you interviews. That hurts your pockets. So who really has the power? So when these players are thinking about this in the next 24 to 36 hours, they need to really truly look within themselves and say, If Colin Kaepernick's sacrifice of his career was not enough, if Michael Bennett, what happened to him was not enough, if Mike Brown and all the other unarmed black men who were killed unjustly by police officers wasn't enough, how about number 45, the man who had been emboldened enough to say what he said, in Alabama the other day. Is that enough? We can come on here and we can talk all about how we want to uh, support Colin Kaepernick. And we can uh, say that we're going to boycott the NFL. And as, and as you can see, the NFL numbers are dism- abysmal this year. And it's because a lot of us have stuck to our guns in support of Colin Kaepernick. But now it's bigger. This man literally went on national television and he basically disrespected every mother who has given birth, worked hard to cultivate her son's talents to step on that field and be the entertainment for the masses. And he called them sons of bitches. Now is the time for the field hands take control so what are you going to do about it are you going to stand up are you going to step up or are you going to lay down are you going to put that helmet on tomorrow march out there on the field and act as if nothing is nothing are you going to say a few words in the camera when they ask you what your thoughts are on it and say well I don't agree with it are you going to be docile are you going to be contrite It's up to you now. The ball's 
in your court now. The NFL, Negroes for Lease. It's up to you how you want to be remembered in history. It's your boy Quest X. I am out.